Kia ora, hello, I'm Philip Duncan. Thanks for joining us. We are tracking a low pressure zone to the north of the country and a large, stronger, high pressure zone to the south of the country. But today's wind map is a little different. I thought I'd throw in there the UV. Uh, because we're getting into that time of year where the UV rays are high enough to get sunburnt and this map really shows it very well. 1 p.m. Tuesday. Now for those who are watching our global videos, a couple of months ago we showed this same map. So this is the equator right here. When we showed this, what was it, early September, this big blob which is basically showing you exactly where the sun is closest to the earth, you can see the circular shape of it, um, this was north of the equator. So in the last two months, it has gone from being mostly north of the equator to now south, and that's because the Earth is tilting, and we're going to get more and more direct sunlight over the next two months as we approach the longest day of the year. So the big purple blob, which is the highest amount of UV rays, will continue to slide down towards New Zealand more and more. We've already got very high UV levels in the north of the country at the moment anyway. One last thing, you can see this low pressure zone in the north here, the big high down to the south. This low pressure zone, you can see the thick cloud, that's the green area there, that's what reduces the UV rays but doesn't completely cancel them out. So even with very thick cloud, you've still got low UV rays coming through. So let's move on into the actual forecast. We've got frost coming back. We already had a couple uh, around last night, but for the next two nights coming ahead, sort of more so to around the lower South Island overnight tonight, and then 24 hours away, it shifts further up the South Island towards the northern end. So the purple area is below zero and the blue areas are zero to two degrees. So certainly a couple of cold nights on the way. You can see these frost risk maps in the temperature section at weatherwatch.co.nz. Here is the forecast for Wednesday. The high pressure zone, very dominant, 1037. That's a big, strong, powerful high pressure zone. That's the reason why you're getting some frosts. Further to the north, there is the low. Not very deep, but it's deep enough with the big powerful high next to it to make a very big air pressure gradient. And that's the reason why we, we're getting a uh, what we call a squash zone between those two systems. Big strong southeasterly winds. There'll be gale force in some areas and they'll turn more northeasterly. One last thing about this map before we switch to Thursday. This looks like La Nina. Low pressure to the north. Easterlies with rain in the east and the north, and then nor'easters coming in for the South Island, bringing cloud and drizzle around the Canterbury Marlborough coastline. So that is Wednesday's setup. As we move into Thursday, there isn't a great deal of change, but the high pressure belt's still over the South Island. The one thing that's going to make those frosts a little bit more unsure are those windy conditions that will be brushing coastal areas, but may not really go further inland. The good news for the North Island, we've got rain continuing or showers in the dry parts of Hawke's Bay and Gisborne, which by the way, are the only parts of New Zealand in the next seven days to lean wetter than average. Everybody else leans drier than average. And with the wet weather on this side and southeasterlies blowing through, that should make for sunny weather in Auckland and Northland and Waikato, Taranaki, King Country, Waitomo, all of those areas. By Friday, there isn't a great deal of change. The low in the north, very weak basically falling apart, but it's leaving behind wet weather, showers, but to be honest with you, here's the next high, and the air pressure right across the country is actually technically high pressure. So the low is pretty much decimated by the time we get to the end of the week. As we go into the weekend, doesn't change a great deal on Saturday. I mean, this is good news for Hawke's Bay for the most part because it's drier than it should be. S uh, same with Wided Upper and parts of Gisborne as well. So this rain I'm sure will be welcome, although the number of days in a row might not be overly popular. And again, high pressure dominates the South Island. And our final map for Sunday shows still high pressure over the South Island. Really, the South Island is looking very dry for the next seven days. And for those who are watching, have watched our Climate Watch video, please check it out if you haven't. Um, we talk about Canterbury showing maybe only five millimeters coming for the next 15 days ahead. So that's the reason why we're seeing dry conditions there. And more showers continue around the North Island. They are easing a wee bit though by the time we get to Sunday. And like I say, this is mostly high pressure bit of weak low pressure in this zone up here though. That's the La Nina side of things. We might be getting a bit more of that over the next few months. And like I say, our uh, Climate Watch video covers that in a lot more detail. That's all from me. Have a great rest of your Tuesday and we'll see you again tomorrow Wednesday.